In this retreat, therefore, I tell you that cleanliness is next to godliness. Because, as they say, you are addressed the way you are dressed. The church is the conscience of the world. And your mode of dressing reflects the type of person you are. We must not only wear clean dresses, clean clothes, we must dress decently. Wearing decent clothing is as important as saving your soul. May God bless his words in our hearts through Jesus Christ our Lord. I am counting on your support. But I can count on me. Very good. And that will be it for now. Thank you, sir. It's okay. God bless you, sir. Right. Okay. God bless you. Vivian. Vivian, did you come to the church dressed like this? Look, Vivian, God loves you. God has a purpose for your life. Nobody will believe you are dressed like this going to a church. They will think you are going to a nightclub. me we knew from the very first day he came here that there will be problems that he needs to be taught a lesson before he deals with all the parishioners <laughs> we are interested in cases like this what will my call you to come and testify i am ready daddy i am so so ready to testify against him just call me i'll be there Is that not what I have been saying on this one? It's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? Stop. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? Will you, will you stop uh, hitting that table? It's okay. Uh, can you imagine what we are talking? This one is writing what I don't even know. What, what are you writing? Okay. Let there be peace. The parish priest is the head of this church. And we abide by whatever he says. We are losing our parishioners on other churches nearby. Do you want this to continue? Listen, my friend. God is interested in our hearts. Not in our personal appearances. Not what we wear and come to church and all that. Eh? We should concentrate more of God's word. More than all things of material things. Talking about wearing this and wearing that. How does it concern us? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Please sit down. Thank you. So, Father, yeah. we are very concerned about the happenings in the church. Our parishioners are living in droves to nearby churches. Ah. So, why is this so? What do you think uh, can be done? Father, with all respect, sir. I think most parishioners are not comfortable with this, your hard stance on the issue of this dressing. And that is affecting the church. We know you are new around here. But, Father, if you ask around, there's a new generation church that upset people the way they are. Father, if you watch carefully, since you were transferred to this parish, because of this year attitude to dressing and all, our members have been decreasing. And it, they have been increasing in their own food because of this style of preaching, Father. 
those who left us here probably are not of this fold. I have a, a very important issue to attend to. What issue could be more important than the dwindling numbers of our parishioners? Nathan, the completion of the new church building at our house station is a very important issue. Who, who will stay in that, in that church if you complete it? Powers? Those who are not comfortable with what I said, they as well live. Can you imagine? Any other person? There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come against every satanic pass over this ministry. Wheresoever they are coming from, I come against them, whether from the high places or from the low places. Father, you said in your word, O oh Lord, that wheresoever two or three are gathered in your name, that you are there in their midst. Therefore, the members of this church, wherever you are right now, I command you to locate us in the name of Jesus. Whether from the east, south, west, or north, Anywhere they are right now, I command the angels of God to go after them. Look at them and bring them to this ministry in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to stop them from coming and come against them in the name of Jesus. This ministry, you shall be known all over the world. The world will know this ministry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody shout hallelujah? And somebody shout amen. 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 Now, please, 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 now, please, finish what? please, 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 Eh? Vivian, please. Why is it that you don't allow me to touch you anytime you come here? Please. I'm talking about money, you're talking about us. See, 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 they have no payment salary. Father will pay me tomorrow. That then they pay me, I will give you. Please, let's go, let's go. Don't worry, eh? When Father pays, you will let me know. Money for him. Back for granted. No, please, please now, please, please, Vivian. Oh, Vivian, please now. Oh, every time, every time, he won't allow me to touch you. I say, I will, pay, I will give you money tomorrow when Father pays me. Oh. Justify the means. We must act now because there is no time. Anyway, <laughs> Obodeyowe. Some people own that church. We laid the foundation stone of the church, and now he's embarrassing every one of us. What for? Don't worry, my child. Hmm? You can go now. All right, Daddy. I trust you. Thank you. Nay, where can we no fetu po wa kamado? 
Stop all these things you are doing with these people. It is evil. Ah! Every priest that comes to this church, you want to control him. Okay, lady. What is it? See who is talking. So it's me you are shouting at. It's me you are shouting at like that. Eh? When it's time for your medication, then we will know. No, it's not the medication. Not the medication. No, I should lie. What is wrong with you? Uh -huh.
everywhere. Oh yeah, start signing up everywhere now. Did you forget to eat your food? Did you forget to, to, to sleep? Start signing up. Stay up everywhere. Sleep everywhere. Oh, chill out. What is it? Okay. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Well, I offer you rice and plantain. Okay. <laughs> Not today. Um, just give me fufu and vegetables. And where are you going this time? I'm bored. Tired of staying at home doing nothing. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Good news. Spill it. I got a job. My employers have employed you too. I be doing a light packaging company. I mean, I've never done an office job before. That's always the first time. Oh. <laughs> I'll think about it. But that's not a yes to you. I'll think about it. All right. <laughs> Your Lordship, it's been three months since we submitted our petition to your office. The wisdom of God abides in man so that we will not be weary in moments like this. We know how he built that church you came from. You see, as founding fathers, we know it's not easy to convert a soul, let alone save one. Um, your Lordship, as soldiers of Christ, we will do anything in our capacity to protect the Church of Christ. We ought to fight this battle fully. Our advice that we be patient. Ah, here you are, Father Bart. I love this show. Ah, 
my men are here. Um, your lordship, sir, uh, as it is now, I think uh, we should take our meal and have them to have the peace because uh, it's like you are going to have a meeting. No, yes. no, no, no. Make yourselves comfortable. My children in the Lord, there is no better time to look at the accusations now that Father Bath is here. You may repeat what you reported to me. Sir Bede, Simon Ike, we are waiting for you. Your, your lordship, uh, as it is right now, mm -hmm. I have decided to let the sleeping dog lie. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 for me, if not that they included my name in the petition, I don't have any reason to be here, honestly. Your lordship. Uh, we only just wanted to <laughs> bring something to your knowledge uh, in case anything go wrong. Yes. Well, if you say we should allow things to be as a stand, it's okay, by me. Father Bath, these three men brought a somewhat worrisome report about your parish. What? You may say, who let sleeping dogs lie? Maybe we should just let it be. My lordship, whatever you say, I'm in agreement with it. Your lordship. I really want to apologize for that ugly event. It was those men that actually dragged me into it. And I sincerely don't know why. Um, uh, Nat, you see, you are not a baby. And uh, we believe that uh, whatever anybody tells you to do and you do it, that is what you want to do. I don't want to go into all that. Hmm? I have forgiven you and I have forgiven all of them. Thank you, sir. Because the Bible said to err is human and to forgive is divine. That we have a church to build. Yes, and I shall report to you whatever I find out. Yes, and yes. apart from that, you are also going to help me to convince other parishioners to join hands with me and you to pray for the sir. Lord. No problem, sir. Yes, uh, I've been considering what you told me about Pastor Vitus. I think I totally agree with you. Hello. Sorry, excuse me, Sister Felicia. How are you, my dears? I'm fine, sir. How are you? Sir, we're about leaving, so we came to see if there's any other thing we could do for you before we leave. Oh, so good of you, so good of you. Um, well, nothing really. Nothing really. Okay. Nothing really. All right, sir. All right. Thank you God very bless you. Much, All right, so we'll be on God bless you. So thank you. Uh, don't forget, don't forget uh, tonight's uh, all night. I hope you're okay. Oh, oh yes, sir. No, we'll not forget. Good. Right. Make sure you don't forget. Yes, all right then. Right. Yeah. Um, like I was saying, it's the spirit of God at work. <clears throat> yeah. Do you have any woman in mind? No. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm sure you enjoyed the service. Yes, sir. All right. God Thank bless you. you. Bye bye. Bye. Nice girl. Yeah. Um, but um, I think we need to see the geo. Please ask for his permission to pray over it. Okay. Okay then. All right then. That will be all, Sister Felicia. All right. 
All right, there. Bye bye. Okay. Good morning, sir. Uh -huh. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Okay. Uh, what do you have for today? Uh, we have a vegetable soup, a soup, and a fan soup. Okay. Um, so, you don't have a semo or wheat? We have, sir. You do? Well, let me have a semo and a whisky soup. Uh, make sure you put those uh, uh, in shop. Eh? Okay. Uh, okay, sir. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. How are you, madam? is not around. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, just tell her I came. Okay. I'll call back later. Hi. Bye. Bye. Uh, 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 come. Sir. Who is that lady? Mm, she's a regular customer. She comes here to eat. Is that all you know about her? Yes, sir. Huh. How often? Mm, mostly every Wednesday evening. Wednesday? Okay. You can go. Just get me a chill mod first, huh? Fine. I couldn't believe my eyes. <laughs> but I had to come and look for you. You do the best. I'm begging you. Be yourself. Turn back to your Christian faith. Please. I love you. Mommy, it's it's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, all these things, they're nothing. It's just that you worry so much. They're nothing. But don't worry. Believe me. I will not disappoint you. Oh, oh thank God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Amen. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Thank you, darling. I love you. Love you too, mommy. <laughs> Mommy, I'm going to miss you. Don't worry. I thank God for this trip that I made. Greet everyone for me, huh? I'll show Greet you. Daddy and everyone, yeah? I will do so. Okay. Hey, my mama. Baby. Okay. You're fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ngozi. Hey. Oh. Mama. You're already going. Yes. I've packed my things as you can see. Um, there's something I want to tell both of you. 
which I have told her already. It's about the, the Christian faith that all, both of you should live in harmony, pray, and believe in God. Yeah? And God will bless all of you. And Mother Mary will guide all of you. <laughs> Amen, Amen, Mama. Amen. Live in peace, okay? As I'm going, whatever I gather, I'll send to you. Remember, there's no shortcut in life. Believe in God. Believe in your Catholic faith. God will be with you all, okay? Live in peace. Come Thank on. You. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Sister Ma is going. Let me give Ma the last talk. Oh, God bless you all. Okay. God bless you all. It's a massive journey, Mama. Okay, my dear. Live in peace, okay? And be good girls. Just take it. All you have to do is put it near the window. But I hope this won't be like the last time you asked me to leave the door open and arm robbers almost killed me when they came in. No, no, no. <laughs> this is not the last time. No, 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 no. We are not laughing at you because of what you said. You see, this time around it's not going to be the same. All you need to do is, when you get there, put it there. That's all. Do you understand? Eh? Don't entertain him if you no, no problem about that. Hey, I saw that your girlfriend. No, that's your beautiful girlfriend. I saw her and she told me that she's coming tonight to see you. That's what she always say. No. By the end, she will not come. No, she will come this time around. <laughs> but see, I see. I like her so much. We can see that. But she doesn't allow me to touch her. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Listen to me. Consider yourself very lucky. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. She is coming. Yes. And this time when she comes, she will allow you to touch her. Mm. Yes! Yes! yes. Just let her in. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will let her in. Mm -hmm. No worry, I will do it. Yes. I will put it there. Yes. Yeah, are you sure she's coming? She's she coming. Come. Thank you very much. Let me quickly go. No, 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 no. Thank you very much. No. Make sure she comes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why should I do this? How can I poison the Reverend Father, a man of God? But they have promised to reward me handsomely. And also, this is an opportunity for me to touch Vivian. I will do it. Who's there? It's Vivian. Ah, Vivian, come in. Come in. <laughs> Vivian, you're welcome. Thank you you truly came. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Vivian. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome, man. See, you really came, Abby. They yeah. have paid me salary. They have paid me. Yeah. There is money now. Sir, there is money. money. Yes. Come and sit down. Come and sit down. Yeah. There is money. Thank you for coming. Eh? Thank you for coming. Let me come and take the money. Okay. Let me come and take the money. But today you allow me to travel. Thank the you. money I'm first. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm waiting. Thank you for coming. Eh? No Hope problem. you are feeling comfortable. Yes, I'm fine. See, the money is here. Hey. I have enough money for you today. Are you sure? Yes, as long as you allow me to touch you. Mm -hmm. what, what would you like to take now? Let me give you... What would I give you? Um, you know, people don't have the kind of drink I take in this house. Hmm? Oh no, Wahala. Any way you bring is okay. Do let me give it one way. How can somebody poison a reverend father? A man of God. My sisters, this world is turning to another thing. A man that carries the oil of God. Ah. Hmm. 
Jesus. Irreverend Father. Poison. This world is cruel. They told me not to talk. I will not talk. Oh God, I'm finished. How is he responding? Um, he's getting better now, Your Grace. We discovered that he was poisoned. Poison? Are you sure about this? Yes, Your Grace. We are very sure. What a wicked word. Despite the fact that the word of God is clear about this. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. This still happens. Your Grace, with luck, we have been able to arrest the situation. And um, we expect him to make full recovery. Although some of his organs are seriously damaged. But nothing much for us to worry about. Our team of doctors are doing everything they can to ensure that he makes full recovery. I see. Please, do all you can. By the grace of God, he will make it in due time. Don't worry, Your Grace. We will do everything we can for him. I know it's you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. I have heard all that you have said, but the only thing I want to comment on is the issue of marriage. We have prayed over it, and the good Lord revealed that your wife shall come from this assembly. It is not yet time for me to get married. When the time is right, I will let you all know. Besides, the Lord has not revealed to me concerning the that effect. But pastor, 1 Timothy chapter 3 verse 2 says that an overseer shall be blameless, husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, giving to hospitality, and apt to teach. And verse 5 of the same chapter says that if a man knows not how to rule his own house, how then can he take care of the thought of God? Enough of all that. Who is the writer of that book? Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul. Then, where was his wife when he was writing that book? Like I said before, when the time is right for me to get married, you all will know. But there is no but. Sister Felicia, I said enough. Brother Nut. Sabede. Sir Emilike, can you please stand up? The case against you is so strong. The church condemns your conduct in all its entirety. I recommend suspension until we conclude what to do next. 
You are knights of the church. You should live exemplary lives like Sir Anthony and the rest of them. I recommend in serving your penance, you should ask forgiveness. Father, please, we are very sorry. Father, how are you doing? I still thank the Lord. I am doing fine. You are getting better now, thank you. Yes, I am. Okay. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Our Lord will see you through. Amen. And uh, I must say, I am grateful for all your prayers and support. Father, we have just come to see how your friends shall be on our way now. See you? Yes. Okay. You did well, eh? Yeah. I appreciate. Yeah. Um, greet your wives for me. Thank you. And you greet the sisters too. Yes. Ah, imagine the nonsense. I thought I thought this man is even dead. I was shocked when I saw him. See, trying to say that don't bother yourself about that. I said, what we did now is just to let people know that our hands are not there. We still have our plans. <laughs> what is going on here? Mubarita, are you going somewhere? You think I've not heard how you and your cohorts were disgraced out of PPC meeting? And so what? They don't have any proof. It's just only a yes here from a pocket cook. Nay, nah, it's a shame on me. And it's already killing me. Eh? My fellow men, we are here. You should have seen how they abused and disgraced me. Everyone think I'm in league with you. Woman, take those things inside. And don't add to my annoyance. Is it not because of your medication that got me involved in this mess? Uh-huh. You are putting the blame of your action on me. The devil is a liar. Leave me, let me go. Are you calling me the devil? Eh? Are you calling me the devil? Ah. Are you calling me the devil? Ah. Ah. Carry, carry the bag inside. Carry, carry the bag inside. Carry, carry it inside. Eh? Carry it inside. And where else will I be? Am I having a show tonight? Yes. You just don't know the job very well. Come over. You are going to perform at the club tonight. Okay. No problem. Let me just quickly dress up. See you soon. All right. Oh, Mr. Mike, Mr. Vices, I was actually on my way to your house, but I said the best place to get you would not be your house, it would be in the church. Oh, okay. Okay. Today is Wednesday. What about Wednesday? We're supposed to visit the orphans and the less privileged. Oh, 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 you're right. Wow. Um, Pastor Mike. Yes. I would love you to take up that uh, responsibility. Go pay them a visit alone today. See, I have this group of people I must minister to today. Well, that's okay, but you no problem. Okay. All right then. All right. Thank you very much. May the Lord be with you. Be with you. Uh, 
Hello, sister. May the blessings of the Almighty God be with you. What is your name? I want you to know that our Lord Jesus Christ loves you so much. Where do you worship? Stella! Stella! Yes? Come here. Please, how much is my bill? 800, ma. Alright. Sister, you have not... Come! Leave me alone. What is it? Okay. Ah, no. Fine. What have you been? I've been inside eating, Jerry. Mm. Did I say that brother likes Sister Vivian? Don't no, come here. Eh? How did you know I'm a poor? You don't come here before now. Nah. And that day we ain't coming, me Sister Vivian here. Yeah. Eh. Anyways, now you sabi. God will help you with this your mouth. <laughs>
Pastor Savina. You came here? Yes. What do you want from me? Our Lord Jesus Christ is interested in your soul. Leave me alone. Well, that was a very wonderful performance out there. You were out there? Yes. And you saw me? From beginning to the end. Sister Vivian, Sister Vivian. God. Father in heaven, just this one more soul. Convert this soul for me, Lord, to thy glory, to thy honor, and all the glory will be given unto thy name, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father, for I know that you have answered me. Ati Vivian, welcome. Stella, give me rice with turkey. Welcome. Sister, may the peace of the Lord be with you. You hesitated before you sat down. Don't bother yourself, I'm not going to disturb you. Okay? I must confess that you have a very beautiful voice. And you sing well too. Thank you. You know... That wonderful voice can be used to praise the Lord. How? Worshipping. By the way, where do you worship? I worship anywhere that is convenient for me. Oh no, sister. One does not worship God in his or her convenience. You must worship God in totality. You must worship God with everything. But you just said you weren't going to disturb me. So what are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. But I just have to tell you the truth. Concerning your new posting. Well, I shall serve God happily whenever I am sent to. The church council and the disciplinary committee are, are meeting now concerning the attempt on your life. Your Lordship, is, is, is it necessary? I have already forgiven them. Yes. The church has a role to play in this matter. Thank you, Your Lordship. Anyway, if there's anything you need before assuming your new office, do not hesitate to let Father Martins know if you can't reach me. Thank you, Your Lordship. I will always remember that. I think I should be on my way now. 
I just say the punishment given to the man is too harsh. It is not. They deserve what they got. Do you realize the gravity of the offense they committed? Did you call it offense? No, it's a sin. How could they plot to take the life of a priest, a man of God? Well, in the spirit of tampering justice with mercy, I still think suspending them is a harsh punishment. Yes. What? You mean she turns up late for work? And it's been going on for two weeks now? Okay. Um, Alright, um, give me today to talk to her. Okay, Ben? I want to know what her problem is. All right then. Yeah, thanks. Someone must have annoyed you with the way he slammed the door. What has been happening for the past two weeks that I've been away? I don't understand. You know what I'm talking about. Why have you been reporting late for duty for the past two weeks? I've been having this pain that doctor prescribed drug for me. And one of them is sleeping pills. Well, you've been fired. <sighs> and you didn't give me the honor of telling me directly? Well, they gave you the grace by telling me. Oh, yeah? Yes. Well done, Pastor. Pastor, the church members are complaining that you no longer hold Wednesday's prayer meetings. Not to talk of the, uh, the counseling sessions. Pastor Mike. Yes, sir. Tell them that it's only for a while. And very soon, everything will be all right again, okay? Pastor, I had a dream about you. A dream? Yeah. Okay. In that dream, I saw you come out of this wretched and wrecked house. And then you headed for this beautiful marbled house. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But then when you got to this beautifully marbled house, instead of entering, you began to stare at the beautiful house. You stared so long you got tired and worn out and you slept. Is that all? Go on. No, that's not all. By the time you woke from your sleep, the house had gone, disappeared, vanished. Oh. God cannot give us a fake miracle. Is that all? No, no, that's not even all. That's not where it ended. The sad side of the story is that when you saw that the house had vanished, you ran to your home. When you got to your home, you found out that your house has been raised by this mysterious fire. Pastor Mike. Yes, Pastor. We need to pray about this for God to give us a clearer picture about this dream. Okay. What I'll do is I'll go organize the prayer warriors then 
We pray about it, like you said. Okay, Pastor. Let the peace of the Lord be with you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every evil roaming around this vicinity, I challenge you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I challenge you with the power that healed the woman with the issue of blood. I challenge you with the power that divided the Red Sea. I challenge you with the power that raised Lazarus from death. You that evil power roaming around this area. In the mighty name. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, Pastor. Good afternoon. Sister Felicia. Pastor. You wanted to see me? Yes, Pastor. I had a dream about you. You were chasing a wild goose. What does that mean? I don't know. That's why I'm here to see you to find out. Sister Felicia. Yes, Pastor. Go home and continue to pray for me. I will do that, Pastor. But make sure you don't do anything that will bring disrepute to the church. I won't. Go home. May the peace of the Lord be with you. And also with you, Pastor. Who is the young man you have been spending most of your time with? What are you talking about? Oh, you are asking me. Why not? All you do these days is to sit and gossip about me. Gossip about you? Yes. Oh, so now you call me a gossip. What do they call people who spend their time discussing other people? I mean, it's been two good years since I've been living in this house with you. Yet, you said nothing about marriage. Well, I'm just tired about... Are you tired of sleeping with me or tired of staying with me? Which one? When will you stop going to that nightclub? And survive on what? When you barely take care of my niece? I can barely take care of your needs and I've been harboring you for two years. I can barely take care of your needs and you are still stuck with me? You slut.
Sister Vivian, how are you? I'm, I'm fine, thank you. I've been looking for you everywhere. I went to the restaurant. They said I've not seen you for two days now. You mean you've been following me all the while? Well, those who seek shall find. And you came seeking? And I found you. Please, can I have some private moment with you? Sorry, oh, my bad, you have some load. I'm coming down. May I have the honor to pull the bag in my car? Okay. Okay, here we go. Sorry. Sit. I am so happy to have you today in my car. How are you? I'm, I'm fine, thank you. His banner over us is love. Pastor, there is no love on this earth. Well, you may be right, but there is love with our Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world he gave his only begotten Son, for whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Pastor, like I told you in the past, all that is important to me for a lady at my age is marriage. I need a man. I need a man that will love me. I need a man that will care for me. I need a man that will cherish me for the rest of my life. That's all. Sister Vivian, nothing is impossible with our God. And I know he will give me my own husband. Well, like I said, nothing is impossible with God. But first of all, you must give your life to Christ. How? You must accept our Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Is that all? And you must also be baptized. Pastor, I have decided to be born again. Praise the Lord! I want to live my life to you mean, Christ. You want to give your life to Christ? Yes, right Pastor. now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sister, repeat after me. Say, Father. Father. I come to you today. I am a sinner. But I repent of my sins. I come to you. I come from to the you. bottom of my heart. From the bottom of I my heart. I accept you as my Lord. As my and Lord. personal sin. Basi, thank you for having harbored me for these past two years, as you said. Never realized how much of a slot I've been to have lived with a man for that period of time without being married to him. And that is why I have decided to give you breathing space, so long as you'll be happy. Thank you, Vivian. I will not look for you.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, um, we all have agreed that the money will be divided into two equal parts. The first one will be given to the orphanage. The second one will be used in the church new office. Anyway, that's all right. I want to introduce somebody to you. Please meet Evangelist Vivian. She attended missionary school in Cano. Oh, she is cool. also a born again Christian. Wow, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. And um, I intend to make her my lovely wife. Oh, that's that's nice. Can you excuse us for a moment? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Pastor, you really intend to marry her? Yes. Uh, Pastor Vices, I guess you've concluded all every arrangement. Oh, well, every arrangement has been concluded. I just wanted to bring it to your notice. But it's a lot directive for you to marry from this church. Well, the Bible says that he who finds a wife finds a good thing. And Pastor, please forgive my ignorance. Wow, how did both of you meet? Oh, we met at a crusade in Kano where she was preaching, ministering the word of God. Uh, Pastor, I hope you remember that there are wolves in the sheep's clothing. I can also assure you that Evangelist Vivian is not a wolf in a sheep's clothing. I don't think that you meant his go for. If both of them have agreed to marry, so be it. I totally disagree with you, Ida Victor. What are you disagreeing about, Sister Felicia? They both agreed to be husband and wife. There's really nothing to disagree about, <laughs> frankly. Please, go and call evangelists for us. Okay, sir. How can one soul only for someone else to come and reap? Who is reaping here? I am at the hospital. You're welcome, man. Hey. Evangelists, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Yes. On behalf of the dwelling, we want to welcome you into this vineyard of the Lord. This is the church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, once more, you're welcome. I want to believe that uh, you agreed to enter into holy matrimony with Pastor Vitus because that's what he told us anyway. Yes, sir. That, that's good. That's good. Um, you're welcome, evangelist. Um, the council will let you know how we do things here as time goes on. You're welcome, you. Watson. You're Thank welcome. You, You're Thank welcome. You. All right, brethren. Thank you very much. Shall we pray? Yeah. My love, like I told your father in the village, I am not comfortable with most of the content of this item listed here in the marriage list. Sweetie, it is our tradition. Mm? But the good thing is that you mustn't necessarily buy all the things they say you should buy. You can give them in cash. The practice is fetish. Whether I give them cash or not, don't forget, we've been admonished by our Lord Jesus Christ to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to God what belongs to God. And the same Bible also says that suffer not a witch to leave. Sweetie, just give them the cash. Forget about all this argument. It doesn't make sense. Please.
Oh, that's all right. That's all right. And um, how is everything going? Everything has been taken care of. And the church? Ah, they are dying to witness your wedding tomorrow. I know. <laughs> I know that all my children will be there tomorrow to support me. Thank you very much, Pastor Mike. May God continue to uplift you. Thank you. I, Pastor Vitus. I, Pastor Vitus. Take the evangelist, okay? Take you, evangelist Vivian. To okay. be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To love and to hold. To love and to hold. For to better, for worse. For better, for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. So help me God. Do us part. So I declare you, Pastor Vitus and Evangelist Vivian Okere, husband and wife. Now you may kiss the bride. Yeah. What God has joined together, let no man put us on. I introduce you to the latest couple in town. My love, you preach so well. The whole congregation are really enjoying your preaching. <laughs> it's the last doing, darling. Wow. I thank God Almighty for what He is doing in your life. I mean, in our lives. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I'm so happy that finally you are now my wife. <laughs> I'm happy too. Um, Sweetheart, have you sent the balance of the money to my parents? Oh, that. Um, I think I would be needing approximately 150000 to complete the money. Or maybe, let's say by Monday, I should be able to have them all, so I'll send it across to them. Hmm? Okay. Um, I'll give you the money. You have money? Yes. I said it's over time. I'll give you the money to send to them. Wow, this is so beautiful. <laughs> That's my wife. So I now have a wife that will be supporting me financially. Anytime, baby. It goes to show that this love is coming from the Almighty God. You're right. The kingdom of God is for us all. And now is your turn to possess your possession. The Lord will visit you from east, the Lord will visit you from north, and the Lord will visit you from south. Can I hear amen, somebody? Amen! And from the west, the east, the north, and the south. God never created any woman barren. He said we shall deliver like a Hebrew woman. God did not create any woman barren. Every form of barrenness by the power bestowed upon me as a child of God, I declare and I decree that your baby is coming forth by the power in the name of Jesus. Amen. But first of all, you need to give your life to Christ. If you, are, if you are not giving your life to Jesus, this is your hour. This is your time. This is your season to give your life to Jesus, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. He is the reason why we are alive. Without him, we are nothing in this life. We have the Zoe kind of life. Give your life to Christ. Accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior when you are young. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Just leave us and begin to worship him. Hallelujah. You will never leave. Same way you came. Hallelujah. For the power of the Lord is here to change. You will never leave, never leave. Same way you came here today. For the power of the Lord is here to change. Hallelujah. You will never leave the same. Sister Mary, have you noticed that these days Evangelist Vivian now preaches much better than her husband? So, I noticed it. Ah, I thought uh, Sister Felicia was going to fill that space. Me too. Hmm. That's to show you that the Lord works in mysterious ways. Exactly. Huh. Anyway, we'll see tomorrow at the Bible study. Alright, no problem. Let me just hurry. Eh? <laughs> okay. Take care of yourself. Alright, bye bye. Yeah. Sweetie, you said you wanted to tell me something. It's nothing really. But I just feel I should let you know. Then go on. Sweetie, I noticed something. What? Whenever I climb the pulpit to preach, Sister Felicia steps outside the church. But when the sermon is about to end, she steps back in. Really? Yes! Are you sure? Or maybe it's just a coincidence? Coincidence? Not once, twice, or thrice. This is really serious. I just have to look into it. But for the meantime, we have to put it into prayers. Okay? Okay. Come on, just relax, okay? Relax. Yes, uh, we have an invitation from the church in Kant. But they're the ones to visit us this time. Yes, but this is a special request. I shall be going with their Pastor Vitus and Sister Felicia. But Sister Felicia is not forthcoming. If she's not, we'll leave her then and go. You and uh, the evangelist, you will take care of the church or the assembly while we are gone. Okay. No okay. problem. You can handle it. Definitely. You can handle the assembly. Good. Good. Uh, when Pastor Vitus comes in, we will go through the church building funds collection. Really, man. And that will be all. It's okay. It's a good idea. Good. It's a good idea. Good. Darling, must she follow you to Kano? Who? Oh, you mean Sister Felicia? Oh, well, yes, if she makes herself available, I mean, why not? I got a report of um, how she abdicated her duties. You know, she can be very, very stubborn. Hey, don't worry. I can assure you that she still remains one of the best of our founding members of this assembly. Mm -hmm. Okay. No problem. Mm -hmm. If you say so. Okay, my love. Mm -hmm. Baby, I love you.
Brother Victor. Yeah. Don't you think they've stayed away too long? They've only stayed there for just a month. But that's too long for a visitation. No, 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 I don't think so. Depending on the situation they found on the ground. Mm -hmm. Okay. I intend to visit the sister at the hospital. I also intend spending the night over there with her so we can have our prayers together. It's not a bad idea anyway. Um, could you please help me conduct the evening service and teachings? With all pleasure. No problem. I'll do that for you, Evangelist. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you so much. Okay. In that case, let me go and prepare. Thank you very Bye -bye. much. Bye-bye. I um I, I came to see an associate of mine. Okay. All right. All right. Come, we have a lot of things to iron out. I have nothing to iron out with you. Vivian, you disappeared for three years. I looked for you everywhere. I am not the Vivian you used to know. I am a changed person. So, you're not coming back to me? After three years, I am gone and I am gone for good. Vivian, some of your things are still in my place. Sell them and give the money to the needy. I don't need them. Mm -hmm. What about your treasure chest? Um, you, you can keep it. Or better still, sell them and give the money to the needy. Like I said earlier, I gotta go. Vivian. All right. Bye. Um. Yes, I'm asking for my friend. His name is um, Isaac Martins. How? Ah. Congratulations. How are you now? Fine. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine. today fresh, they go. <laughs> How was today, sir? Fine, fine. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Let me just check this out. Okay. Oh. Brother Jude. <laughs> oh. Ah. Good afternoon. Sister Mary. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And how was today's service? Very well. Hey, that reminds me. Sister Mary, did you notice anything today? Something like what? There was no fire in Evangelist Vivian's preaching today at all. I wonder what could be the problem. I feel her husband's absence is really affecting her. But she's an evangelist. A worker in the Lord's fire. She is also a newly married woman. Well, I, I just don't agree with her preaching today at all. Brother well, Jude, I think we should put uh, Sister Vivian in prayer. At least for God to strengthen her. You think so? Yes. Well, I think that will not be a bad idea anyway. <laughs> yeah, just want to be very sure with these records that I keep them straight. Oh, you know, if I start leaving. All right. <laughs> okay, brother. You have a good day. All right, now see you. Yeah. We bless your name, Almighty God. We bow before your throne in the mighty name of Jesus. In the glorious name of our Lord Jesus, Father, I come before you. I come before you. I come before you with a broken heart, oh God. A broken heart and a concrete heart you do not despise, oh God. For this reason, oh God, I plead, oh God, that you should save me from this temptation, oh God. I have decided to follow.
follow you. I have decided to serve you for the rest of my life. Uh, there is no turning back for me. I have decided to serve you for the rest of my life. Uh, there is no turning back for me. There is no turning back for me. I don't have any business with sin anymore. I don't you have any business with sin anymore. I've given my life to Christ. Uh, Strengthen me, oh God. Give me the grace to carry on. Give me the grace to carry on. I give you praise. I give you glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Because I know you have answered me. You called me your daughter. You called me to serve you. King of glory, do not be far from me. Do not be far from me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of me. <laughs> oh, my love. Yes, baby. You know, I just noticed that um, you've been acting funny ever since I came back since yesterday. Funny? Yes. How? Well, the zeal, the fire, the passion is no longer there. Hi. Sweetie, I've told you that nothing is wrong with me. You sure? Yes, I am fine. Well, could it be as a result of my overstressed staying outside you? <laughs> Do you worry too much? Hmm? Do you worry too much? Nothing is wrong with me. You just have to believe me. Hmm? Hmm. Believe me. Nothing is wrong with me. I am here for you. Relax. Okay? Okay. <laughs> believe me, okay? I'm your wife. I am here for you. Relax. Um, dinner is ready. Well. I can't wait to eat your food. <laughs> I know you miss my food. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, let me go get it for you, okay? Right. <laughs> I love you. Love you, my baby. Look, I am not here for that. I came for the treasure chest. Can I have them? So that I'll be on my way. Uh, come on, you must be joking. Huh? I mean, first of all, you told me that I should sell them and then give the money to the poor. Now all of a sudden you're telling me that you're back for them? Well, I changed my mind. But if it's not available, it's fine. I, I can go. Hey, yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, I still have them, okay? Just 
I'll see that one and feel comfortable, okay? I'll get them for you. distance. Don't tell me that after all these years you still haven't forgiven me. No, not at all. I've forgiven you. I'm no longer angry with you. Then show me some signs. Come on. I mean, all these years I, I still remember how we used to roll. I mean, I think about it every night and day. Don't make me believe that you still don't have any feelings for me. Uh, I didn't say that. All I said was... you were married. Well, now you know. What, so when do I get to meet the lucky man? <laughs> Don't worry, very soon. All right. Just very soon. Okay. Thank so, what are you here for? What I... Uh, I've been waiting for an associate of mine to come and meet me here. And actually, I've been waiting for him outside. Uh, actually, I, I came to look for something to drink. Oh, so, that's the refrigerator over there. Yeah. So I'll help myself. Okay. Do you stay close by? Case for another day. Just do and go and attend to your business. Yeah. I'll do just that. My God. Why pass it today? Why? How will I explain this? No. Why will things just, just lie the way it is? Why is he always showing up? Um, I'll, I'll be waiting outside. Okay. Alright.
Komm hin. Pastor, where is Evangelist Vivian? Oh, she went to the supermarket to do some shopping for her baby. Do you know women? She's been quite expectant these days. Uh, even though the baby is not due till after two months, she's been shopping, going on shopping spray. <laughs> well, but uh, that, that reminds me, I mean, it has taken long. Maybe I'll have to check on her after this meeting. Yes, um, Pastor Vitus, thank God for the arrival of the baby. Um, as I was saying before, she actually interrupted. You know, I am no longer a young man, considering my age. I will choose to walk within the church rather than the place you are posting me. I want you to reconsider your posting. Elder Victor, mm -hmm. the Lord is your strength. Amen. <laughs> Pastor, good day. Hello, my daughter. I'm sorry to interrupt, but there's a man at the gate. He says he's the storekeeper here in Virginia Vivian shop. Okay. He said she may be in labor and was rushed to the Divine Mercy Hospital. Oh, is the man still there? I don't know, I'm not sure. Oh, oh Pastor, I, I, I think I have to go. I think it'd be wise if we join you. Let's go, let's go. Let's oh, go. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We need blood for the baby. The mother is still unconscious. I need a father or any relation to come over. The baby is in the incubator. Is that all? Yes. Well, you can count on me. That I will stand in as the father. I just said I need the father of the baby, not someone who can stand in as the father of the baby. Okay. Why don't you just take a sample of my blood and see if it matches that of the baby? Is it not to save the life of the baby? Okay, let's do that. Go. So, Doctor, how is my wife and my baby doing? Yeah, when called the gentleman. Okay. I understand you claim she's your wife. Claimed? Claimed, you say? Yes. But in any case, we usually frown at such situations, especially if the person did not register with us from the beginning. We only took her in because of the danger of our situation. Okay. Thank you very much, Doctor, for your kind gesture. Mm -hmm. All right, so now am I permitted to go and see my wife and my baby? You will see her shortly, after you have given me the evidence of your claim. No problem. I think I have an eye for them to say. Good. This is my wife's ID card. Is that one enough proof now? This is strange. Because the man who brought her in also have the same claim. In fact, he donated the blood that we gave to the baby. And surprisingly, the blood sample is a pure match for the baby's father. Jesus. Yes. That's very strange. This is strange. So, uh, doctor, what's this young man's name? Can I remember? Yes, Bassi. Bassi. Yes, Bassi. Bassi? Survivors, if you can remember vividly, I asked this question the day you introduced that lady here in the council meeting. Where did both of you meet for the wedding? What, what is, is your, your name? Your yes, 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 
What was your question again? He's asking you where exactly you two met before your wedding. Okay. Um, I met her in a restaurant where I preached to her and she accepted our Lord Jesus Christ as her Lord and personal Savior. Then furthermore, I discovered that um, she that she works in a club. I said it! Hey! Sister Felicia, calm down. The pastor is still speaking. No, I won't. I won't. I was saying it here and none of you was listening to me. Now look at where it has landed us. <laughs> Sister Felicia, that's not what I mean. I mean, let the pastor finish speaking for God's sake. Now, Pastor advises, where do we go from here? There was no marriage in the first place. Because everything was based on falsehood. Pastor, you really have to reconsider. Pastor advises, what about the baby? <sighs> she lost the baby. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. They said that the baby was a premature baby. But that is not even what is bothering me the most. Sister Vivian, who was supposed to be here so that we can iron out things, decided to pack her things and disappear into thin air. Which is better for you. Sister Felicia. Sister Felicia, enough of this. I see you're not prepared for this meeting. And I'm afraid you have to leave us. Yes, please. I will go. When Kano Missionary School has suddenly become a clubhouse, I'm leaving! directed by the light. All this light, are they not enough for you to see? Spirit is weak. 
before me. I see his eye haunting me. I have to go to my church and confess my sins to the parish priest. Yes. I have to go to my church. Yes. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. Master Mike. Yes, Master Vitus. What is the meaning of this? Why are you sitting in my office? The church council has a letter for you. Letter for what? Well, take a look at it. Mr. Vitus, you've been trailed by one crisis after another these past few months. You've not also performed your duties to its logical conclusions as a shepherd in charge of this ministry. You've also insisted on a marriage that is not only false, but has brought disrepute to this entire ministry. Therefore, the council in its wisdom has decided to suspend you temporarily until you're able to gather yourself together and then you can come back. Pastor Mike, Pastor Vices, I know that you have always wanted my office. I see conspiracy between you, more especially you, Felicia. You are taking this too far. The Lord has never spoken to me concerning you. But he spoke to me, and I heard him clearly. I don't know why you're pushing this. Pastor Mike, our Lord Jesus Christ came because of the sinners. I am not going to fight you. God will fight for me. Pastor Vitus, you actually brought this on yourself. I leave everything to God Almighty. You brought this on yourself. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Excuse me, Katkis. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please, can I see the parish priest? Oh, Sister Vivian. Long time. I hope all is well with you. Yes, all is well, but I just have to see him. It's very important. Where is he? Okay, okay, you just sit down. I'll get back to you. All right. Don't worry. Thank you. Yeah. Hail Mary, 
full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus forgiven you our Lord Jesus Christ came because of the sins so I have no grudges against you so I slept with you what has been happening to you what is what is going on with your life let me know you have no moral justification to ask me about my life Honorable and a sacrament. What is the sacrament all about? It's a covenant you have when you bring God into your marriage and promise to use your marriage to serve Him. Understandable. I'm sorry with the way you left your church. On the contrary, Vivian, I did not leave my church. Rather, Pastor Mike, Elder Victor, and Sister Felicia conspired against me. They suspended me indefinitely. They said, that I should go and settle my marital issue. I knew it. Most especially that sister Felicia. Ever since we got married, she was not happy. He. Hmm. But all that is in the past now. For what God has joined together, let no man put us under. 
Vivian, I want you to promise me with the name of the Most High God that we serve, I want you to promise me with the name of the I am that I am that this will never ever repeat itself again. I promise, promise me. You. I promise to love and cherish you for the rest of my life. And I am for real now. I promise. I promise to be a good wife. I am back for good. I am back for real. It will never repeat itself again. I promise you. Believe me. I believe you. I have a confession to make. It's been haunting me. I, I, I've been having sleep last night. Go ahead. Uh, I don't know if God will ever forgive me. I did something terrible in the sight of God and man. Uh, Say it. I, I poisoned the Reverend Father of us. Jesus. It was not my fault. Not like I did it on my own. I was lured into it. I, I was more like a scapegoat. <laughs> They used me to achieve their mission. Say no more. When you confess your sins, the Lord will definitely forgive you. So we won't go to your church so that you will make the confession. And I know that the Lord that I serve will forgive you. Okay? Okay. <laughs> um, you either wait for him after the duration or you come back tomorrow. But I'm sure that if you do all I've told you, it will suffice. Okay, since there's an adoration going on, maybe we should just attend that adoration and see him immediately afterwards. Exactly. I think it will be perfect like that. Maybe we should just wait for him. Okay, let's go to the chapel of our perpetual adoration then. Okay. okay. Stand better now. 